Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how I managed to install Hackintosh to this 8 year old PC and also I made a list which you need to follow if you are a first timer. First initially you should know your system information uh, like uh, your processor and uh, the built in graphics in your processor and the motherboard along with the chipset, the audio chipset, the internet chipset and the USB controller and SATA controller. It is not necessary to know the USB controller or the SATA controller but you should know your audio chipset and the internet chipset and the GPU you are using and the amount of RAM. Knowing your amount of RAM is good to know. Okay let's see how to find this information in your computer. Just open your browser. Uh, I'm using uh, Mozilla Firefox here. Type in HW Info 64 in Google. It will take you to this page. Um, go to HW Info site, and this is a uh, pretty good software which is used by NASA, Intel, AMD, Dell, and other uh, OEMs. Just uh, hit the download. I'm going with the portable version here. This is around seven megabytes and just unzip it to its own folder open this hardware info hw info 64 exe i'm going to run this it will take a minute if you are used to cpu-z or gpu-z the information uh, provided by that is given here uh, i'm using an uh, intel cpu core i3 3220 you know if you watched my Hackintosh uh, my video before this and I am using an NVIDIA GeForce uh, GT710 see here I am using a GK208 chipset which is natively supported in Mac OS ok apart from this let's look at our motherboard chipset in informations click on motherboard here it will show you the motherboard name the motherboard uh, chipset and other informations I have USB 10 which is all USB 2.0 let's quickly go to the audio section See, I'm using a Realtek audio. This is the audio chipset in my motherboard ALC662, which is listed here. And I will quickly go to the network and find the network uh, drivers. As you can see here, I'm using an uh, 8111, or it is also called as uh, 8168 network chipset. By using this, you can uh, find tons of uh, information about your computer, motherboard, memory. I'm using 4GB of uh, 1600 mah. RAM. Using this software, once you have found the uh, the audio chipset and the internet chipset, GPU and what motherboard you are using and the uh, motherboard chipset. In my case, it is a H61. This is very important because uh, you need to uh, know your computer to collect the texts for your computer. You need to know your motherboard because you need to create the SSDTs, which is very important uh, to boot into Mac OS. And also I will show you original guide which I followed to install the Hackintosh. And go to your browser, just search for open core install guide. Here you can see yeah, this is the Dortena github.io repository where the original open core installation guide is uh, located. And this is the initial uh, page of the open core guide. You can visit them uh, by uh, going to uh, the Hackintosh subreddit and Hackintosh discuss channel. Once you click on get started. Uh, it will show you all the information where you need to uh, convert from Clover to Open Core and uh, also everything you need to know about Open Core. But you need to spend some time, you need to troubleshoot your uh, errors uh, to successfully install the Hackintosh. The upcoming videos are just the overview of uh, Open Core installation. The installation process will uh, change over time. Currently, the version is at 0.6.0. .0 which is constantly being updated by the developers if you are watching this video in the future it may be changed drastically also keep in mind that this project is in beta but uh, it works so you need to do your own research to successfully install the Hackintosh and also uh, and they have a troubleshooting section in, in which they have explained the entire working process of the Mac OS and open core bootloader Okay, I will quickly go over what I am going to show to you 
in my upcoming video first we need to create a uh, bootable usb with mac os recovery and the open core bootloader after creating that we need to collect some texts and drivers for our uh, bootloader after that we need to create the ssdts which are uh, fundamental for this work. and we need to modify the config.plist according to our motherboard after that we need to try to boot into the mac os and uh, it is usually a trial and error method you need to find what error you are getting and you need to try uh, troubleshoot it you can also ask help in the separate it and uh, also in the discord channel hope you will get an answer for your uh, trouble after that uh, when you are successfully managed to boot into the mac os by using open core bootloader you can uh, proceed with the post installation process which is also uh, in the open core website can go to the uh, guide section and you can click on the post install you can follow this guide to completely finish the hackintosh successfully okay thanks for watching this video if you like this video give a thumbs up and if you like my work subscribe to the channel and if you are watching this in the future the other parts of the video will be uh, released hope you like this overview of building an hackintosh